fault? Yes. Uh huh. Uh, the grace is sufficient for me. Yeah. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. <laughs> now, this whole issue of what Paul experienced, yes. It says he cannot tell. <laughs> God knoweth, yes. <laughs> Does that mean that I know what he experienced? No. <laughs> it means that I don't know what he experienced. <laughs> for every theologian that thinks that they do know, <laughs> if it says that he cannot tell, that means you don't know. <laughs> Were you reading something into it that wasn't there? <laughs> See, if you just read the Bible as it is, yes, whether in the body I cannot tell or whether out of the body, yes. He didn't know what he was experiencing. So for those that have been to the third heaven, yeah, <laughs> I haven't been. And if I ever had that third heaven experience, yes, <laughs> I would say God, yes, <laughs> I don't think so right now. Mm -hmm. Now, it seems that Christianity made this decision we were going the way, yes, of fanaticism, yes, where we're not going to enforce the laws because of our top secret way of doing things, yeah, mm -hmm. I made the decision that we're not going that way, and since I have the right to sue any judge that's issued any court order, yes, for any debt, poof, that is convertible to a actual federal public debt to the United States Treasury? Yes. You would say that I couldn't spend $10 billion making sure of all the evidence. <laughs> I would say that I easily could, Ouch. because when it involves every judge in every county of the United States, it doesn't take that long to realize the expense of these lawsuits. See, for every judge that I find that wouldn't enforce the rules of the court, yes. They wouldn't enforce the regulations of law, yes. They wouldn't enforce the rights of the individuals, yes. I look at their net worth and then I spend another 10%, ouch, because I get financing for it. <laughs> A lot of these individuals that are looking for secured financing, and it's secured because of the assets of those that I'm suing, yes. Uh, it's like a, a guarantee. Poop. <laughs> you know, when you, when you think about, well, where am I going to put that money? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's say you're a pension. <laughs> and you, you want to have one of these secured investments that pays you six to seven percent a year. Yes. A couple percent above uh, treasury rates. Yes. A little better than a home mortgage. Poo. And I explained to you that I'm suing the United States Federal Treasury, yes, for refusing to obligate the states to enforce the actual requirements of law to issue any debt against any citizen. Yes. And you're like, well, $10 billion, I mean, that's a lot of money. Poop. But how many counties are there in the United States? Mm -hmm. I think we look through them and there's 36,000 of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then how many Superior Court judges are there in those 36,000 counties? Yes. Well, 36,000 counties and approximately two to three Superior Court judges. Yep. That's 100,000 judges throughout the 30... Well, 100,000 judges and 10,000 persons employed to go through each and every court order for any debt against any American citizen named as a respondent. Poop. Now, for those that are employed, what if they spent a day, yes, going through the actual documentation of the court order debt that becomes the debt of the United States Treasury? They probably issued, oh, 10 to 100, right? Now we've got a million court orders. Yes. Uh, well, maybe less than that. Maybe, no, there's a hundred thousand. Maybe, oh, probably a million of them mm -hmm. over the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. Now, 52% of all divorces or all marriages end in divorce. Mm -hmm. And then we look at the number of child support orders and alimony or Yes. It's possible that those 10,000 individuals, right, mm -hmm. one court case a day. Yes. Working 200 days a year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, 200 times 10,000, um, well, that'd be about 2 million. Mm -hmm. They spend two years researching each and every court order. <laughs> now, you'd say I have no right to the public knowledge of the public court system. Pooch. Seems like you can put my arrests online. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can obligate me to uh, get arrested for crimes I didn't commit. Yes. 
You know, I think there are a lot of Americans that for $25 an hour, yes, would sit there working on one court case a day, yes, going through all the documentation. <laughs> and then there's this idea, well, this judge kept, e oh, well, look at you. You're the judge that's getting sued because the state of Washington. Now, the state's getting sued for you. <laughs> See, it's not that difficult to spend $10 billion over a couple of years. Mm-hmm suing the United States Treasury for refusing to enforce the rights of American citizens. <laughs> now, I can get out a calculator and show you exactly how I'm going to fucking do this right now. Because for every corrupt judge in every county of the United States, I find out that you individuals refuse to enforce the rules of the court. Yes, he does. I'll fucking sue you for everything you own. My grace. Mm -hmm. Now, um, when I am weak, then I am strong. Yes. See, uh, this idea that I'm a fool. Oh, I'm a complete idiot. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, oh. Top secret payroll. Mm -hmm. Whose back pocket are you in? Well, um... I'm a little rough. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. See, there's the aspersion, the false charges or slander. Yeah. The defamation or maligning. Yes. Now, these false police charges that I was in Squim, Washington. The false criminal complaints of Jefferson County. Yes. The emailing of 2600000 I just wanted the judges of the United States to know that I find that you refuse to acknowledge the laws of the United States. Yeah. I'm going to sue you. Do you understand, judges? I will take your assets. Mm -hmm. I will have you put in prison. Poop. And I will replace every judge in every county of the United motherfucking state.